Nestled in the deep blue waters of Lake Huron, our island is Mackinac Island. Ann Arbor does it up different. Ann Arbor does it pure Michigan. Your trip begins at Michigan. The Tigers are going to the World Series for the 11th time in franchise history. Detroit police are investigating a violent crime spree today. They believe a carjacking, shootings, and a high-speed chase are connected. Seven and with that, the mayor of the nation's 11th largest city went behind bars. And good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Harris. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Over the last week, Flint has been living up to its moniker as the most violent city in America. NBC 25's Josh Marshall was live in Flint tonight, where a 16-year-old is the latest victim after a deadly week in the city. You know, the whole Minnesota nice thing, um, it's actually very, very true. All your neighbors are really supportive. When there's a football game, half the community shows up. You know, a lot of people ask me, what's the best thing about Eden Prairie? And we have great facilities, we have great parks, we have great uh, opportunities for people to enjoy living in the city. Don't miss the show. Only in Minnesota. Jody on Twitter wanted to know whatever happened to the water in Flint, Michigan. And on Facebook. Lead contamination was detected when doctors found lead in children. Of these kids getting their blood tested, we hear the rifts that Tony is there talking about. Sometimes it's easy to forget this has been going on for two years. We're going to start with these deadly police shootings sparking outrage and protest. The latest just last night in Minnesota. The aftermath captured in graphic video. Traffic stop turned deadly Wednesday. Family members confirm that 32 year old Philando Castile has died.
lot of frustration.